here you go. She was my world. Yeah. Mom, how am I ever going to live without her? I know it seems impossible right now, Sophie, but you will get through this, I promise you. If she just answer her calls or I just text her back, I just need to speak to her. You think she's gone for good, don't you? I do, Sophie, yes, I'm sorry. It's not like you that needs to apologise. It's my dad. He's doing this to me. Don't be too hard on him, Sophie. He's so upset about the way things have turned out. Are you joking? Mom, he read my wedding. He made my soulmate leave me. I know he went about things in the wrong way, but he was only doing what he thought was best. Oh, so is that what it is now, then? Yeah. Suddenly, you're on his side. <laughs> So how are you feeling today, so? Well, I've got no girlfriend, no life and no money, but yeah, Jason, apart from that, I'm good. She's left a job, you know. Mum, why are you saying it like that? You know we had no choice. Amber lives at the end of the road. You can't avoid her forever. Mum, are you joking? You can't expect her to work with that little cow. Right, look, Sophie, I know I said that I'd spend the day with you, but there's been a slight change of plan. Hi, Frank. Well, I'd love to, but... I... I don't think I can get away. Well, the bad news is, I can't actually stay. But the good news is, I got you a DVD and some more teasers. Oh, Sophie, don't give me those sad eyes. Is the family back? Where are you going? Right, well, my new agent has got me this amazing new fashion shoot. I mean, Sophie, this could be my big break. You should go for it. It'll be brilliant. Oh, well, thanks for asking me. I hope it goes well. That was Frank. Inviting me to his drinks, do. You should go, Mum. You need a bit of a break from me anyway. Yeah, Sophie, will be fine, won't you, babe? I've got you this rom com to cheer you up. <laughs> the breakup, Rosie, are you joking? Go away. Oh, Soph, don't be like that. I have got nothing to say to you. Listen to what I've got to say. I am not interested. I don't want us to fall out. It's too late. Look, I'm not having you going around slagging me off, blaming all this on me. I've got nothing to say to you. Go away. You should be grateful to me. I showed you that you weren't really in love with Sean. Yeah, but I am. And I am so in love with her. So how come you told me you loved me? I was confused. And if I'd have said I loved you too, what would you have done? See? Getting married would have been a total disaster. You should be glad she's gone. That is it. Get out now! Stupid cow. Right, fine, if that's the way you want you it. You've got no right coming around here and stirring stuff up. I was trying to put things right, you silly mare. You know call me one more name and I swear to God I will knock your head off. Right, you know, drop at 12 o'clock. Oh, that's right. Blame me. Could just to make yourself feel better, because we both know that's not true. Oi, yo, yo, what's going on? Do you really want to chuck our friendship away? Hey, hey, don't push her around. I uh, believe me, she deserves it. Listen, you are not a friend of mine, all right, so leave me alone. Grow up. No, you grow up, Amber. Seriously, leave me alone, or else. Well, let's get you on. Oh, you can bog off and all. Dad, I will sort it. 